Colonoscopy is the best way to prevent colon cancer. We are looking for polyps, which is how cancer begins in the colon, and doing a colonoscopy detects these polyps so we can remove them so they don't turn into cancer. You've probably heard horror stories about the PrEP. They're incorrect. The old PrEPs we used to use were a gallon PrEP that tasted horrible. But nowadays we have a smaller volume PrEP. It's half the amount, and the laxative that's used does not have any taste, any odor, and it's very well tolerated. Colon cancer is serious business. It's the number two leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States for men and women combined. Only second to lung cancer. It's an awkward thing to talk about, but I think we all need to keep a sense of humor about it because we all need to do it. It's a preventable cancer by having a colonoscopy. Don't make any plans the day of your procedure. And the day before, you may work half a day or the full day and prep for the procedure the night before. Only purchase the following items if your doctor suggests a Miralax prep and follow the doctor and nurse's instructions for taking the prep closely because you don't want to have to do this twice. Here are the items you need to purchase for your colonoscopy prep. Miralax, which is a colorless, odorless, tasteless powder, which is the laxative itself. Ducalox tablets, which uh, are little tablets you take prior to drinking the prep to sort of kickstart your GI tract, get it working and ready for what you're about to drink, which is 64 ounces of a clear liquid. Here are two of the more common clear liquids that people uh, use for their prep, G2 or G Gatorade, and this happens to be 64 ounces. Um, low sugar apple juice, this happens to be Mott's for Tots. Some people have used iced tea, crystal light, Hawaiian punch, uh, other fruit drinks are possible. We just don't want you mixing the Miralax in plain water. We prefer some electrolytes and some sugar or glucose in the mixture. Also, you're not gonna wanna drink the prep ice cold. It drops your core body temperature inside of you in your core and can make you really sick. So it's easier if you drink a room temperature or lightly chilled prep. Lastly and importantly, we don't want you drinking anything red or anything purple. That leaves a color of liquid in your colon when we do the exam of red uh, or something near red if you drink purple, which may imitate blood and cause some concern on our part. Here's a tip from experience. Don't choose your absolute favorite sport drink to do your colonoscopy prep with. You may not want to drink it again. The diet to follow before colonoscopy is very simple. It's basically a low residue, low fiber diet, which means avoiding nuts, seeds, popcorn, whole kernel corn, leafy vegetables, uncooked vegetables, all of the high fiber foods that we're barking about being so healthy. You want none of that in your colon if possible. Then it's easier for the colonoscopy prep to clean out your colon. The day before your procedure, you'll be taking a clear liquid diet only, no solid foods. To begin with, you'll take four Ducalox tablets all at one time. Here's how to mix the 64 ounces. Pour your liquid into a separate container, then take your Miralax powder, dump it into your liquid, all, all of the 238 gram bottle, and then you'll need to stir this up so it becomes a nice uh, easy to drink liquid. Two hours after taking the Ducalox tablets, you start drinking your prep. Remember, it's lightly chilled or at room temperature. Typically, you would drink six to eight ounces every 30 to 45 minutes until gone. That means you could drink this in one to two hours if you really stepped on the gas. But if you're nauseated or feeling full, put the drink down for 30 minutes, wait, and Finish the prep in six to eight hours if you have to. The point is you have to drink the full 64 ounces, whether you're a man or woman, large or small. We have six feet of colon we're trying to clean out for your exam. After drinking each glass, it may help to have some hard candy or some gum. We encourage people to drink clear liquids after they've completed their prep. Uh, that would include things such as chicken broth, uh, jello, popsicles, you may require trips to the bathroom while you're drinking your 64 ounce prep, more commonly after you've completed the prep, and it may last six or eight hours. So be prepared when you are in the bathroom. 
have a magazine handy or take your iPad in and in between trips to the bathroom enjoy a movie. For your comfort and protection with all of the trips to the restroom we'd suggest you use moistened wipes and a barrier cream such as A&D ointment or Vaseline jelly. Once you've arrived at the Digestive Health Center you're almost done. Check in, comfortable room, nice people, and the procedure is done with a sedative so you're comfortable during the procedure and the next thing you know you're back in your recovery room waiting to go home. One of the first requests after awaking from the procedure is for food. You may eat whatever you want after your procedure is done, although we do suggest a low fat, low spicy sort of meal. To help your body bounce back faster, we suggest adding some yogurt to your diet for two or three days after the exam. It'll help repopulate the good bacteria in your gut. After your colonoscopy is completed, give yourself a pat on the back. You've taken a step towards maintaining your health. Just remember, at the age of 50, about 30% of us have precancerous polyps. By doing a screening colonoscopy and removing those polyps, you're preventing cancer. Tell your friends and your family to go have their colonoscopy screening at the age of 52. Bottoms up.